Hi, Chris Smiley. How are you doing today? Swell, thanks. Oh, that's great. All right. Tell me something that you know. That we talked about identity. We weren't really too sure about that. So tell me something you do know. Just anything that I know. Yeah. It's like, it's, I mean, like we, the Mississippi River isn't like that's not actually like we just call it the Mississippi River. It's just like a river on the planet Earth, and so. But you yeah. you, you believe the Mississippi River exists though, right? Well, physically, yeah. I don't know about like. I mean, I don't know if I would like make it, you know, make the Mississippi River like its identity, I mean. But let's talk about the river itself, like, how do you know it exists? Well, I guess I don't, because I've never, like, seen it, but <laughs> that's just me. But I'm pretty sure there are people in the world that have actually seen it and been there and been in the water and stuff like that. Okay, so, so then you don't know it exists? I don't, know. Okay. Um, do you know that uh, this chair you're sitting on exists? Um, I think it exists because my, you know, like my brain tells me it does. My, uh, my butt's touching it and, you know, I can feel it underneath me, but, you know, that could just be, you know, fake. You know, it could be, I don't know, some, maybe someone's sending signals to my brain telling me that I'm sitting in a chair when really I'm not, but I'm pretty sure I am. Okay. So, <clears throat> you, you've taken it, taken it in through your senses. So, you know it exists because you can feel it and touch it and see it. Um, now, what happens when you walk away and you go to the kitchen? Um, how do you know that chair is still there? If I can see it, then it's probably still there. Um, if I can't see it, then I will just have to believe that it's there because it was when I left it. And normally chairs don't move around by themselves. And most of the time, if something is there, then later it will most likely still be there if nothing happens to it. Well, how do you know it'll most likely be there if you're not looking at it? How do you know that it's still there if you don't I mean, have anything? If I apply, proof, apply the, the proof? general rules of the universe that this chair is a solid object that does not move by itself, um, and I left the chair there, and then, you know, as long as I know that nobody else, like, messed with it or moved it, then it should still be there, theoretically. But I guess I have no real way of knowing that it's still there if I can't see it or touch it or whatever. So there, there's some law of the universe that says that things must stay well, there? Kind of. Not, I mean, it's not like a definite thing, I don't think. But, I mean, most of the time, things that don't move by themselves will, you know, generally stay there. Well, how do you know things don't move by themselves? Because to this point, you've only said the only reason, the only well, way I know things are there is because I see them or touch them. So when you're not seeing or touching them, how do you know they're still there? Well... I guess I have no, like, real way of knowing whether or not it's still there. I just have to, you know, I'll just have to believe that it's there. I'll have to just be like, yeah, I think it's still there. But it might but not why, be. But why do, you, why do you believe it? What's um, your proof? What's the evidence? I mean, I've been getting out of chairs my whole life, and I come back to them, and they're still there, so. But how do you know it's not gone in the interim period? How do you know that it doesn't just flip to another dimension or it's somebody doesn't come and take it away. So it's kind of that whole thing where like things don't exist unless peep, someone perceives it. Like if there's no no one in a forest to hear a tree falling, then it doesn't make a sound. Well, that kind of thing? There's a couple of things. I mean, I'm just asking you, how do you know? But sure, there's things you could use to kind of put this in perspective. Like there's, uh, you know, in, in quantum physics, there's this phenomenon where particles behave differently when, when you're they're... observing them or not observing them. So, yeah, I've watched like, something like that recently. Yeah, so to me, it's very plausible yeah. based on that, that when you get up, you're not observing that chair, it could be fucking gone. That, it, that could be entirely true, but I would have no way of knowing. So when you ask, how do you know the chair is still there? My answer would be, I don't. Okay, so you don't know. All right, good. <laughs> but I would like to believe it's still there and I would like to think it's still there. Well, why are you but. believing shit that you don't have any evidence I would for? like to, but... You'd like to, yeah. all right. Cause, because, you know, that's... There's an overwhelming amount of... Well, I don't know about overwhelming amount of evidence. There is no... We just there, said... There is no there's, evidence, but... <laughs> there, oh, there is, <laughs> oh, stop trying to believe stuff <laughs> just because you want to. Yeah. <laughs> We're going for hard fucking facts. Fine. Though, if, you, right. if you go that route, then <laughs> I'll say, okay, I, I, I don't know that it's still there. All right. What else? Anything else you know or believe? 
Uh, <laughs> now, <laughs> now, I, now I don't even want to answer that. There's a goddamn puppy in here now. Fucking ruining the shot. Well, at least get yourself in the shot if you're gonna come in here. Yeah, people want to see the dog. All right, say, uh, say I'm Do Yun Yang, and this is Logic or Die. My name is Do Yun Yang. This is Logic or Die. I say you not go fuck yourself. Not go fuck yourselves. <laughs> <laughs>